Welcome to another tech video. Today we are going to be looking at a PC. Um, we're going to, we need to get the user account set up on it. Um, and the only way we can do that is uh, we need to create a VPN on the box, connect to a domain controller that is on-prem, and we're going to show you how you can do that remotely. Right, so the first thing that uh, we want to do is we're going to be connecting, or we're going to be connecting from this machine to a VPN server, to the remote VPN server, and then once we have got that connection to the network, we can then um, join the local domain and get this device configured. So first thing that we want to do is we want to create a VPN connection. We go into network and internet, and we go into VPN, and then we're going to click on add VPN, and we're going to use the Windows built-in VPN. And we're going to call this test, and we're going to input the server details of the VPN server. Now, the caveat here is you want to make sure that the VPN server is all working, um, and you've already um, you can already connect to it. Basically, it's no point trying to do this from scratch. And we're going to create add our username and our password that we've got configured on the VPN server. And then we're going to click on save. Once we've got that saved, we can then click on connect. That should go through and connect to the VPN device. So it does, so that's good. So we're now we're now connected. The next thing we want to do is we're going to move down to accounts and we want to go down to access work or school. Now another caveat here is that your machine needs to be um, a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 Pro to be able to connect to a domain. So we're going to click on connect because we've got a Windows 11 Pro machine and we're going to select this option here, join this device to a local Active Directory domain. Join this device to Azure Active, Active Directory domain is if you're doing authentication um, using Microsoft 365. So um, we're going to be, or, or, or somewhere else in the cloud basically. So we're going to be doing local active domain. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to enter our domain. Let's see if it finds it. Okay. Okay, there we go. So it's found the domain and it's saying enter your domain account to verify that you have permission to connect to the domain. So at this point, you want to enter your um, username and password of an account that can associate a device to that domain. So we're going to enter our details here. And if that's got the necessary permissions, then um, it's then going to hopefully ask us for the account that is going to be um, joining the domain, which it is. So add an account. So enter the account info for the person who's going to be using this PC. Okay, so the next bit around here is what type of access do you want to give them to the PC? So as these are um, just users of the system, we're going to create this account as a standard user. If you select it, you can drop down and change it to an administrator, which gives them full rights over the local machine. So we're going to be setting this guy up as a local user. Once that's done, you click on next. And it now wants us to restart the PC, which we uh, can don't necessarily need to do that. So, um, well, let's let's restart the PC anyway. And once the PC is restarted, we can then um, what we need to do is we actually need to log back in with our um, non-domain user account. Re reconnect to the VPN and then we're going to switch user and then log in with the domain user. 
Okay, so once you get the login screen, you'll see um, the user and the domain. So we're going to click on other user. And we want to actually sign in using our standard credentials. So we want to add in desktop ML six seven eight nine e backslash local user and local password. So this is the admin user that's configured on this uh, on this device. It does take quite a while to sort itself out. All right, so once we're logged in uh, with our local admin account, um, what we want to do is we now want to, once again, we want to join our VPN. So we wait until our, we've got a network connection. We're going to do a right click, network and internet properties, VPN, and then connect. And then once we're connected, we want to switch user. So we're going to click on the username. We're going to click on switch user. And then we're going to click on other user. And we're going to sign in with the user account that we joined with. That will then use the VPN connection to go off and check and make sure that uh, the user is able to join the domain. And then it's just a matter of waiting until Windows then configures the profile. Okay, so now we're logged in with the user, which is what we wanted to see. So let's go ahead and Make sure that all looks good. I'm going to close that down for now. Okay, so what I want to do is CMD, check my IP address. Okay, that is correct because that's what we're on with the VPN, so that's absolutely fine. That's now the user or the user account join the domain. Um, so what we're going to do is just to go through now and we're going to set the rest of the system up and the sort of things that we tend to do are um, in terms of preparing it for a user is we're going to switch off widgets and switch off chat. We're then going to put some additional icons on the desktop. So we go to personalize. themes, desktop icons, and then we're going to enable those. Sort by item type, right, that's it. So that's all we're gonna be going through today. Um, as you can see, we've successfully joined the domain and um, we can now move on with the rest of the setup. Right now we've got everything ready and set up. So all we need to do is we're going to remember we're signed in still. So we're going to um, we're going to sign out of this account, and then we're going to sign into our admin account, and then the. VPN is already disconnected, which is good. So we can now say, remove that. We don't need it anymore. And then we can log out of this. And now we can sign back in with our domain user so it'll always default to the domain user or to the domain
sign back in and that will sign in doesn't need the domain once it's got the profile and then what we do is we can then shut the machine down and then that's it finished so if you found that video useful give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one